Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well, I hope you are sitting comfortably, you are cosy and you have your snacks and your beverages. In today's video I am, of course, I know, I know, I know, I know you're all staring at me right now thinking oh my god are we here again? Yes, we are here again, we are talking about Tattoo Gate again i'm so sorry but i feel like i have been put on this earth to deliver you any updates it's my duty okay it's in my dna at this point i am tattoo gay <laughs> i'm joking i am not tattoo gay i am not responsible for this in any way shape or form i'm just here to deliver the tea and the news <laughs> So yes, we do have a tattoo gate update, but before we jump into all of that spicy tea, I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see that your very personal information was exposed on those public listing sites? Now, there's obviously a lot of information about me online due to the nature of my job, and I am completely okay with that, but my super personal information, I am not okay with. I've always been super conscious when it comes to internet safety. I am a kid of the 90s after all. I grew up as the internet become more and more accessible and throughout the whole of my life I have heard some horror stories when it comes to scammers and spammers. I feel like as every day goes past scammers are coming up with new and more crafty ways to be more convincing and it's honestly super scary. Did you know that data brokers are making a absolute fortune by selling your personal information to robo callers, spammers, scammers. You know the people that just happen to phone you while you're halfway through your dinner and you look at your phone and it's a number you don't even recognize? Yeah, it's all very annoying. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do so. So let Aura handle all of that for you. What I love about Aura is the fact that it is super easy to set up. You don't have to download several different apps for several different things. Aura has everything that you need to be safe online. Aura has things like parental control, antivirus, a VPN, password management, and so much more. You get everything at one affordable price in all one place. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with a piece of mind. So stop data brokers from exposing your info. Go to aura.com forward slash treacle for your 14 day free trial and see if your personal information has been exposed online. That is aura.com forward slash treacle for your 14 day free trial. I just want to say thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Let's get back on to Tattoo Gate, okay? So let's do a very, very brief and quick recap, just in case there's anyone that doesn't know what's happening or just a reminder to everyone. So back in May, a TikTok was uploaded by a very sweet lady by the name of Courtney. I always accidentally call her Christine and I don't know why. I don't know where that's come from because it's never in my notes. Never. It's always Courtney. And I don't know why my brain just instantly says Christine. Anyway, Courtney documented the fact that she had been scammed out of a lot of money by a tattoo artist. The tattoo artist's name is Lindsay Joseph. Lindsay Joseph charges a lot of money for a deposit and a design fee. And then if you want any changes to that design, she would charge you more money. She also charges a consultation fee. Courtney had an outpouring amount of support. There were so many tattoo enthusiasts tattoo artists and just general people that don't really care about tattoos that much that come to Courtney's needs and were trying to help her in any way they could. There were artists making her concept art of the tattoo that she wanted. For those that don't remember or don't know, she wanted a fox tattoo with some florals and the tattoo that the tattoo artist had designed for her was pretty subpar. But how much money Courtney spent on this design and it also ended up being a copy of some other person's artwork. Hot mess, honestly. But yes, there was people offering to design a new tattoo for Courtney. There were tattoo artists 
willing to tattoo Courtney for free. There was quite a few of them that come forward and was like, I'll do it for you. This story ended well because Courtney ended up getting the tattoo she wanted by a tattoo artist in California named Matt Vort. There was also another ex-tattoo client of Lindsay that come forward by the name of Ri. She had a tattoo done and it was really expensive and she had a pretty bad experience with it all. We then find out that Lindsay Joseph got the audacity to charge all of this money for her tattoos and the consultation fee from a once well-respected tattoo artist by the name of Ross Abbott. Ross Abbott has a business called Launchpad and this business is meant to help tattoo artists get the most from their businesses. So running the tattoo studio, making bookings, social media. Um, but he was basically out here trying to get people to charge as much as they most possibly can. He came forward with a half-assed apology video. It was all very strange, honestly. And then after all of that had died down, Lindsay started to take legal action against anyone that spoke out against her and their experiences with her. I think she tried to go down the defamation route, but because people were, you know, talking from their experience and they obviously had receipts and proof. Receipts, proof, timeline, screenshots, f***ing everything. Of their experience with Lindsay, I don't think it would ever hold up in court. I'm not too sure again on what is happening with all of that, whether it's been dropped or not. And then it all died down once again until a lovely lady by the name of Teresa uploaded a photo series on TikTok about her experience with Lindsay Joseph. She was in communication with Lindsay before Tattoo Gate, but then got tattooed after Tattoo Gate. And she wanted to give Lindsay the benefit of the doubt. She kind of explained herself as wanting to be a unicorn. She wanted to help Lindsay out and all of that because the prior experience she had with her was excellent. She said, you know, she was really nice, great to talk to and decided to get tattooed by Lindsay anyway, but it didn't all go well at all. Teresa ended up spending over $4,000 for a tattoo that isn't finished and isn't what she wanted. She kind of cut ties with Lindsay because the tattoo just wasn't going the way she wanted and she thought it would be best just to leave the situation and leave Lindsay. So basically, long story short, a lot of scamming, lawsuits, just a lot of drama from one tattoo artist. Honestly, this is probably one of the biggest tattoo scandals of all time. And it's all had us in a little bit of a chokehold since this all started back in May last year. And I think maybe possibly we are now at the end. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, like, who knows with this one? So I get a message from Teresa, who is the lady I was just talking about, saying that Lindsay has announced on Instagram that she is quitting tattooing and shutting down her tattoo studio. Yeah. Yeah, she's taken this route, okay? So let's take a look at the design. We have some hearts, like watercolour hearts, and yeah, it's kind of cute or whatever. And it just says love in the middle of it. Cool, yeah, great vibes. <laughs> and then in the caption, this is where it gets spicy. Uh, Lindsay said, Lucid Tattoos will officially close January 31st, 2024. So that's pretty soon. It would be impossible to express the heaviness of my devastation, but I want you to all know that I will be okay. Closing my studio and ending my career this way couldn't be worse. Any tattoo artist or anyone in general who has ever created their own livelihood out of nothing, but their own two hands and fire in their heart will appreciate how much it took to even open those doors in the first place. This is like having to pull the plug on my own baby, but here I am, plug in hand, and it's going to be okay. I haven't had much power in this situation. <laughs> but if I'm on a sinking ship, then I will be the person in the band still playing as the water pools at my feet. I... <laughs> the thing is, nobody wanted Lindsay to eradicate herself from the tattoo industry. All we ever wanted from Lindsay was for her to hold herself accountable. Okay, come forward and say, well, yeah, you know what? I've really messed up here. I've been charging far too much for my tattoos, I've taken someone else's artwork. That's all we ever wanted. All we ever wanted was a statement or a video to say, yeah, I really messed up here. Just to have a, a, an ounce of accountability. But instead of doing that, Lindsay has taken the extreme route and been like, you know what? 
I'm closing down. I'm never doing this again. Could you imagine like working for so long to become a tattoo artist, to open your own studio and to throw it all away because you cannot admit that you are wrong. I cannot believe that. Oh. I just don't understand it personally. I know for some people, it is very hard to take accountability. Um, you know, admitting that you are wrong or that you messed up. It's hard sometimes, but honestly, it's much easier to do that than lose everything you've worked super hard for, you know? This could have worked out so differently for Lindsay had she had just said something, you know, as Tattoo Gate was happening, you know, cause like if this was me, I mean, I obviously would never ever do what Lindsay has done. I, I just don't have it in me to ever do that. But let's say that happened right? I would just instantly be like, oh my gosh, like, okay, thank you for making me aware. I'm so sorry. I will refund you all. And if there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Obviously, when you have wronged people, sometimes they don't want anything to do with you, which is understandable. But just like, I like, oh. Then Lindsay goes on to say, for the month of February, I will be offering free memorial tattoos for anyone who has lost a loved one they would like to connect to. Perhaps writing from a card, a small flower, or something else. A one hour time slot will be offered. Just one hour. Oh, something is telling me that she would offer someone, you know, an hour time slot for free. And then say she runs over, she'd be like, oh look, we've run over, I'm gonna have to charge you now. And then you are stuck in that studio with this fresh tattoo that you now have to pay a little bit for. And actually, no, not a little bit, a lot of it. Like this is just a recipe for disaster, honestly. The alternative offer is to make a heart connection with me. I have prepared a watercolor heart or the word love in any font. I am here to make this connection with you, to hear you and to pray with you. I mean, this is just the strangest, you know, I'm out of here announcement I've ever heard. It honestly just feels a little, I haven't got the words, but it's just like, oh, woe is me, I'm closing down my studio, I have absolutely no control over this, and oh, by the way, I'm going to do a very nice thing here, you know, and I'm going to do memorial tattoos for you, but for, just for an hour. What happens after the hour if we run over for whatever reason? God only knows. It's just, mm, it, there's a weird vibe here to me. Anyway, Lindsay then says, my purpose here is to do something good for the community while I can. I'm doing what I can with what I have left. If you cannot understand that, please unfollow me and move along. Again, Lindsay, honey, all you had to do, all you had to do was take some accountability. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Like you made this whole thing such a spectacle by just saying nothing. Any tips received will be 100% donated to the Great Lakes Secondary School Acts of Kindness Initiative. This is a beautiful program started by a real life angel I have been fortunate enough to tattoo recently. He and his students started this program to aid mental health. They help families and people in need with rent, groceries, holiday gifts, and more. T-shirts and sweaters will also be available at the studio for purchase that read don't judge my story by the chapter you walked in on and you matter in different languages i completely appreciate the charity gesture that's obviously very very nice and you know kudos congrats beautiful but the whole don't judge my story by the chapter you walked in on i just is anyone else just like got no words just no words whatsoever. Again, it's a whole like, woe is me, feel sorry for me, I'm going through a lot. This is only made possible by the generous donation of the studio space by Rick Murphy at D3 Artworks. I know this crushes him too and he didn't hesitate for a moment when I asked. And it says, please email her email address to schedule a time. This offer is limited to time and the supplies I have left. So this is basically Lindsay just using up everything that she has left from her tattoo studio instead of, you know, maybe giving it away to another tattoo artist or selling it or whatever, I don't know. It's just wild to me that she can do this and try and make people feel bad for her when there have been many clients, obviously some haven't even spoken up or some just aren't aware that they have been scammed because there are a lot of people out there that don't really realize how much tattoos are meant to cost. You know, if you have absolutely no clue as to the average tattoo cost and you go to Lindsay, you're gonna think it's normal, you know, like six grand for a sleeve from an artist that is okay. Like her work isn't 
the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. But she's not even like a celebrity tattoo artist. She doesn't have that many followers on Instagram. You know, the amount that she does charge is uh, just a bit audacious, to be honest. So let's take a look at some of the comments. This one says, I'm so sorry that it ended this way. People on the internet can be so cruel. I emailed for an inquiry. And while I agree with that statement that people on the internet um, can be cruel, um, so is scamming your clients out of thousands of dollars, you know, calling everybody a liar as well. Yeah, that's something she did. She called the people that come forward to talk out about their experience with Lindsay liars. Um, yeah. I wish I could have more sympathy for you for this, but when you scam two people, it's more than two people. I know out of thousands of dollars and left them with partially finished tattoos, it's really hard. I hope you find something that works out for you and that you make things right with those people. That's all she had to do was make things right and she would be fine. Of course, like I have said over this series, that there is absolutely no room in the tattoo industry for people like Lindsay, but there is room for people that are willing to grow and make changes like with anything in the world. Oh my goodness, so many videos on TikTok about you and also an article on the independent.co.uk. Yeah, Tattoo Gate was massive. And then this person was like, they weren't good things. <laughs> but yeah, well, I don't know where this will go, whether this is fully the end or not. Um, I do have a theory though. I don't know, this is me probably being far too into true crime and, you know, conspiracy theories and stuff, I don't know. I do have a theory that Lindsay will, you know, just go completely under the radar for a bit. Maybe delete the profile that she has here. I feel like this whole announcement could be a deterrent for a little while. You know, she'll go under the radar for a little bit. Maybe find another job for a little bit. And then I think she might come back to tattooing. I think she'll tattoo under a different name, a different social media handle. You know, maybe reach out to her loyal clients that have been getting tattooed by her for a while and say, I'm back tattooing. You know, this is my new name. This is my new studio. You know, that is a very big possibility. You can take the girl out of the tattoo studio, but you can't take the tattoo studio out of the girl. Like, I feel like she would end up missing it. And maybe, honestly, a break would just do her good, just so she can reflect on everything that has happened and make changes when she does come back under a new alias or whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too hard into this. I would love to know your thoughts and theories about it all. Or maybe this is actually it and Lindsay is fully throwing in the towel now and we won't ever hear from her again or see her again. It's sad that she is just calling it quits, not, you know, refunded any of the clients that have had issues with her. She's kind of just like, bye, not my problem anymore, bye which again is just audacious if you ask me like the absolute audacity so please do leave your thoughts and opinions down below about this whole thing and this could possibly hopefully be the last time that i ever talk about tattoo gate in this capacity i hope so many people have learned from this whole thing especially when it comes to tattoo artists you know charging so much money not treating your clients very well it will end up biting you on the bum and you will end up either having to take accountability like Lindsay did not, or you may end up losing your business because of it, or the pressure of everyone, you know, having eyes on you all the time might get too much, or whatever. for whatever reason, Lindsay is deciding to quit. That is it for today's video, and this might be it for Tattoo Gates. So, <sighs> I think we can all breathe now, right? <laughs> anyway, I just wanna say thank you so, so much for being here and until my next video, bye.